State your destination. All vehicles leave on time. Hello there, my pretty friend. Don't say anything yet. Act casual. We're old friends who met by chance. Catching up. A mutual friend thinks it's important that you acquire some new skills and weaponry. I've arranged a contact in Jaguna to get you started. Now pretend we're all caught up and leave. Casually. It was great seeing you again. Keep in touch. You too, Blade. Be safe out there. The pirate's on her way. Security droids say she's armed, but she won't be trouble. Let's hope not. Here she is now. I'll go tell the boss. This is Carol's. Tell the throne room that the Blade's arrived. When Nemro shows, stay at least five meters back and don't come up unless you're called. One wrong move, and you're a pile of ash. I understand. I'm not here to cause trouble. Just going over the rules. You've got a reputation, and we don't want any problems. Allow me to present Nemro the Hutt, the illustrious crime king of Jaguna. Trinkets, great Nemro. Nothing more. Kava Dompa Stupa, Makin Salika. Not bad. Nemro, the adults here are real Orodium. The cloth looks like. Manama Asha Bicho. Kipuna Malituta Odmishka Kava no Tasema. I'm very grateful. You've got quite a place here. Hi, Jibanaga. Goodbye, Gigi. Good thing. Lolly Makichi san. Kikuna mo. Uban choni alipa. Istin koto. Conchuta, Casu Yali Kura, Tokanti Kong. Looks like your audience with Nemro is over. You'll have to forgive the interruption. I've been working for that hut since he killed my gang when I was 13. Trust me, you can't talk to him when he's like this. What's all this about Fathra? We're having trouble with the Fathra clan, and it's getting to all of us. Fathra's out of line, but the Hut cartel hasn't bothered to interfere. So, it's a business dispute. What are you feuding over? Everything. The mines, the factories, the slaving operations. Now look, 
I need to work up new plans with security and keep an eye on Tothlogen to keep him from suggesting anything stupid. In the meantime, you're a guest, and you've got our permission to do business here. You got the run of the palace, so I'll see you around. Well done, Agent. The listening device is working perfectly, and Nemero can keep no more secrets from us. Imperial Intelligence has determined that Nemero's human lieutenant, Carlos Javis, is the weak link in his operation. You're going to twist the man until he serves us. I don't see it. He didn't seem particularly disloyal. Carlos has advised the Hut for many years, and he's sympathetic towards the Empire. He admires our efficiency, and he prefers humans in authority. He'll do for our purposes. Unfortunately, Carols is on the verge of disfavor with Nemro, while the Twi'lek Lieutenant Tuflijan, I believe, is Nemro's rising star. I want you to go to Carols and offer your services as the Red Blade. Do whatever is required to bring Carols' glory in Nemro's eyes. What does Nemro have against Carols? Carols' work has been suffering due to the interference of the Fothric clan. Nemro finds that an unacceptable excuse for failure. One other thing, Agent, this operation of ours has drawn the attention of a member of the Dark Council, Darth Jadus himself. The Council's authority is second only to that of the Emperor. It's a rare honor for an intelligence operation to be overseen in this way. With all due respect, what does the Dark Council care about Hutter? This operation isn't exactly a threat to the Sith. I don't know why Lord Jadus is interested, nor is it our concern. The Sith aren't obligated to share their reasons. Report back once you've rendered whatever aid Carols requires. Keep her out. be in such a hurry, Blade. Don't you remember me, your old buddy, Dino Ray? I don't think you looked this good when we met up on Hoth. Or so girly. But you couldn't be an imposter, you know your friend Dino. Of course I remember you, Dino. How long it's been. A little too long, it seems. Turns out we got a problem. You see, you don't look like the Blade I know. The Blade who owes me credits. But you say you're the Blade, my pretty lady friend, so I'll take you at your word and ask for my money, you understand? I thought we were close, Dino. I thought you were my very, very close friend. Yeah, I can see that. But come on, I really do need the cash if I'm gonna keep your secret. Oh, come on, you're a good guy. You take a girl's last few credits? Leave her broke and wanting? Look, maybe I could let the debt slide just this once.
for a friend? Dino and the Blade, you know? I like the sound of that. I like it a lot, Dino. Oh, glad to hear it. You know, we could uh, head to my room, get cozy, talk about old times. We got a lot in common, you and me. All right. So long as I can finish my business here when we're done. I won't stop you. Come on, I'll show you a few things to really remember me by. Blade, come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. Look, I've only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks, and I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? Mind if I ask why you want to know? You're one of the last real independents. I admire you for that, but your kind is dying out. The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts even if Nimrod won't believe it. So, if we gotta pick a side, I wanna pick a winner. And I don't see the Empire losing. Sounds reasonable, but what are you gonna do about it? And for starters, I make sure I'm not being stupid. There's more on the line than business. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? Word is that you're on the outs with your boss. Is it true? Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Evokai lands. He blames me for some reason. Now the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right. I'm interested. Then maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work. Hmm. Blade, come on over. Glad to see you're enjoying the palace. Look, I've only got five minutes before I have to go meet with some alien freaks, and I want to ask you something. You've been around the galaxy a few times. What's it like dealing with the Empire? Mind if I ask why you want to know? You're one of the last real independents. I admire you for that, but your kind is dying out. The Huts have taken control of the gangs, and I think real soon the Republican Empire will want control of the Huts, even if Nimrod won't believe it. So, if we gotta pick a side, I want to pick a winner, and I don't see the Empire losing. Sounds reasonable, but what are you gonna do about it? And for starters, I make sure I'm not being stupid. There's more on the line than business. My sons are free traders. They're doing business in the Sullis system. It's their first time dealing with the Empire, so I worry. I probably shouldn't. But you came to me for a reason. What can I do for you, Blade? Word is that you're on the outs with your boss. Is it true? Nemro's been stewing in his slime since we lost a shipment of rare ores in the Yubokai lands. He blames me for some reason. Now the Evokai, they're Hutta natives from before the cartel came. They mostly want us dead. If you get that shipment back, I'll pay you good. All right. I'm interested. Then maybe we both come out ahead. There's a work camp outside Jaguna. Nimro set it up for some Evokai who wanted peace. Bad deal, poor rubes. The chief there, Odef, was supposed to talk to the other Evokai tribes about returning the ore, but he didn't come through. He knows something, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment to keep. But I look forward to seeing if the Red Blade's as good as they say. You? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, saved, of course! Nemro the Bounteous takes me from the swamp, yes? He gives me a new name, 
New job, he makes me Morsel, the administrator. Nimro orders me to keep work camp enforcers in line, but they hired to bully Evil Kai. They laugh at me. Just tell me who you need dead and how much it's worth to you. Enforcers hard to hire, harder to keep, so they think they can do as they please, but we can't kill them. Go to work camp, wave your gun in Chief Enforcer's face, make him see Morsel no one to laugh at, and I have stack of credits for you. <laughs> 